Okay, hi. So one of the main topics we're going to be looking at after the Chinese New Year is electrochemistry. And I just wanted to give you a quick introduction, a primer. You find electrochemistry in your textbook, chapter 18, page 833. So just want to tell you what electrochemistry is. Now, electrochemistry is all about redox reactions, reduction and oxidation reactions, whereby electrons are moving from one species to another and causing chemical change. Now, because the movement of electrons is also something which is found in electrical currents, we talk about electrochemistry as sort of the symbiosis between the two. So electrochemistry is either generating electric current by using a chemical reaction or by using an electrical current to generate a chemical reaction. So an example of the first one, generating electric current because of a chemical reaction, this is a battery. So if you use a battery inside of which there are chemicals which react together and that helps to produce an electrical current in the wire. On the other hand, using electrical current to cause a chemical reaction, you can use this example is the purification of aluminium, which is known as bauxite. Bauxite is what you dig out of the ground and then by melting it into a liquid and applying an electric current through it, you can separate the oxygen and the aluminium to give you the aluminium that you want. So considering we're talking about the purification of one of the world's most commonly used metals, and we're talking about batteries which are in absolutely everything, electrochemistry is quite important. It requires you to have an underlying understanding of a how to balance reduction and oxidation equations, which is where we're going to go next. By the way, additional thing I just remembered I wanted to mention here. Recharging a battery is quite an interesting thing. When you use a chemical, when you use a battery, what you are doing is you are causing a chemical reaction to happen in a certain direction, which causes electrons to flow. When you plug that battery into a main socket, the opposite chemical reaction occurs, because chemical reactions, as we know, are reversible. So a rechargeable battery is effectively you adding a current, causing a chemical reaction to occur, and then you using the battery is by having a chemical reaction happening, causing an electrical current to occur. It's quite interesting.